friends, I am the Dungeon Tutor. Welcome. Today is the 21st day of August, which is the 21st topic for RPG a day. And this one is, what's your favorite licensed RPG? It's actually kind of a tough one because I have a number of them. I have a couple books for Star Trek. Not a huge Trek fan, but it is... <clears throat> Kind of fascinating to imagine living in that time where, you know, want is, is unknown because medicine and technology have advanced to the point where it is potentially this utopia. So you take and you look for challenge out there primarily, <coughs> which is interesting. There are some interesting systems, too, in place that, like, you do have to worry about Klingons and Romulans still, sure, the... Cardassians and other ne'er-do-wells who don't exactly embrace the Federation, the Borg, and things like that. But it's it's still fascinating to to th think of living in that time, in that period. Um, Star Wars, of course. I love Star Wars far more than I love Star Trek. Uh, I've got a lot of those. Um, the West End Games D6 system, the Star Wars the role-playing game. Um, as well as the Fantasy Flight now I have. It's it's looks really good, and I'm getting really excited about that. But, uh, you know, I've got plenty of others. I've got John Carter of Mars, interesting enough. Um, got Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is a great game. Um, the Princess Bride, the role-playing game. Really good. A little bare bones, but it's a solid fate system. It's a good introduction to the system, and when we played it, it played really well. Um, and I have found a few others along the way, too. Um, for example, I just got Army of Darkness, the role-playing game. I have a soft spot for Army of Darkness. I'm not much for most of the Evil Dead movies, but Army of Darkness was just a fun romp. And, you know, tabbed into pseudo-medieval, it was fun. Um, <clears throat> on the whole, though, with everything I've got, and there's a lot of them, I would probably have to say my favorite one to play is the Marvel Super Heroes Saga Edition game. It's a deck-based role-playing game, first of all. It's got five suits. It's got strength, agility, willpower, and intellect. And using those suits and a variety of the different powers that you have, it's... Brutally simple, honestly. It's a really, really simple game system. But, at its heart, it is perfect for flexibility and fast-paced gameplay as you're throwing down cards and drawing new ones and watching your fortunes ebb and flow, just like a comic book. Um, the system is not so crunchy that it you know, makes you pour through the book looking for rules. No, it's just fling cards and, and have fun and get to be a superhero for a while. There's tons of the licensed characters from the game, but you can make your own, too. At one time, we were playing um, a feline-based martial artist gal uh, who was pretty dang deadly, uh, a gargoyle from the Disney Gargoyles named Brutus. He was fun. Um... Uh, and, and other characters, were just, we, we whipped them up, and it was simple, easy. The characters were fun, exciting, and there wasn't any time we felt we had to go looking through the book. I had them face a couple of common threats. I think the first one they fought were a bunch of Doombots, Dr. Doom's mechanical minions, not as good as he is, fortunately. And the party got to shred them, and, oh, I can't remember what they ended up facing. I think they ended up fighting Apocalypse, along with some other heroes. It was, it was, it was a pretty good time. We didn't delve into it for very long. But as far as the pickup and play of it, I really do enjoy that game a lot. I've played it enough to see the strengths of it, and I haven't played it so much that the flaws in it are are really that egregious. And honestly, there's a good online community that filled in the gaps because they didn't have... TSR didn't have the rights to that for terribly long. Um, an evolution of their Marvel superheroes game, which 
I find to be clunky and cumbersome. Now, these days you can get it for a system called FaceRip, F-A-S-E-R-I-P, which are the first letters of the attributes. And it's a serviceable game, and you can certainly find all the resources to go back and play Marvel superheroes from what's available online. Yeah, I know people who do that. But um, I thought the percentile base system was just a little clunky and cumbersome, and I love the Marvel Saga system for its flow and its its ebb. Um, and there's, they keep coming out with more and more. I've also backed Blade Runner for Free League. I liked the movie Blade Runner, the first one, with Harrison Ford. I thought it was a very good movie set, the time period and everything. I haven't seen any of the later ones, and I'm thinking I probably should if I ever run that, just to see what other lore they've developed and things. The book is really good, though. And that might become uh, something that I, that I enjoy as well. But uh, by and large, I'd have to say, out of the games that I've played that are licensed, that I have... Uh, the Marvel Saga system is the one that takes the title. Now, it's not the one that I've played the most by a long shot, but if I'm going to look for a game that I look forward to playing uh, on a broad basis, I would look forward to playing that. If I was looking forward to getting into a broad campaign, I would still much rather play a Star Wars game and watch the character grow and develop. So, there is that. Uh, but, yeah, that's the answer to my question. So, I hope you enjoyed this little walk down a couple of my license games. And like I said, I have more, but, you know, for most of them I have. Hmm, this looks cool. I'll put it on my shelf and uh, haven't gone back to look at it until now. Uh, recently I've been working very hard at trying to get into my library and see some of the treasures that I've just kind of stockpiled. So there may be others that I enjoy, but as of right now, if you gave me a chance to play any one of my games... I would definitely be playing the Marvel Saga system and having a lot of fun with it. So, that's my answer to today's question. Um, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I do appreciate seeing you, and I would hope to see more of you. And if you are looking for other licensed games, something appeals, by God, there's so many of them. Um, I heard the the Serenity Firefly game is, is a hoot. Aliens, uh, very popular for Free League. Um, Dune also uh, seems to be a pretty popular thing once again. Um, not my personal favorite. I'm not a huge fan of Herbert, but a lot of people know of Dune and seem to like Dune, so that game is probably going to do pretty well. Uh, Doctor Who. Again, I've never seen a single episode of Doctor Who, but there's so many books out there from the earliest editions, and now the current ones look beautiful. Just... I can't really say about that. Um, you know, the Transformers. If you just look at what Renegade Studios is putting out, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, My Little Pony, uh, just about anything can be licensed into a role-playing game, really. And they are. They are. So, thank you for joining me. I do hope to see you again. And if so, I hope that between then and now, you, yes, you, get a chance to roll some dice, play some games, have some fun, and stay safe out there, my friends. Until that time, farewell.